ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Getting Fit with Jay. I'm very excited about this episode. This, of course, is the segment where I, your host, Jay Williams, try and get super fit and stuff because I was really out of shape when I started here at Shaw TV. Uh, I'm very excited about this episode because, as you might remember, last episode involved me doing some aerial acrobatics with a good friend, Danielle Ponticelli, uh, and I spun around and almost threw up, and that was no fun. Here's a clip from that. Oh, I'm totally gonna vomit now. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Oh. Okay, you're gonna go a little fast there. <laughs> Are you okay, Jay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Uh, oh, sh <laughs> Okay, so this week, I've decided to change things around, and instead of me doing the spinning, I'm gonna spin something else, and that's why I'm here with my good friend, Amy Samos. Amy, a lot of times when I'm introducing someone on Shaw TV, I call them my new best friend, but I'm not gonna call <laughs> you my new best friend because you're my old best friend. We've yeah. known each other for a long time, since way back in the day. Yeah, since, um, well, you would do uh, the comedy. I, I did my really bad comedy at Shannon's when you were working there. Yeah, I That's actually right. learned how to hula hoop in the kitchen in between customers. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we're gonna be hula hooping. Is there a cooler word for it than hula hooping? Um, you could call it hooping, which is a shorter term. I like that, um, brevity. By the end of the day, you might be a hooper. I think I'm gonna be a hooper, hopefully. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So. Uh, I know it's a good idea to get warmed up for any sort of physical activity, and I've already done my personal warm up, which is I eat a pound of warm up bacon, and I have a tall, cool, refreshing glass of half and half cream. Is there anything that you like to do to warm up for, uh, for physical activity like this? Well, what you can do is um, stretch on the ground. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a lot of leg hooping, you might want to do that. You could also do stretches with your hoop. Okay. So for today, I got this hoop for you. This is um, more of what I would say beginner hoops Mm -hmm. or hoopers use. It's uh, 38 inches tall. Okay. It's uh, three quarter inch tubing, which is thicker. And so because it's heavier, it's gonna give you more balance as you go through it. And I don't know if you at home have noticed, but uh, I, took the, I took the care, because I care about you viewers so much, I took the care to dress in a manner that matched this hoop. <laughs> so you're welcome, Shaw viewers. All right, so let's get started. Give me some of the basics. Uh, Teach me, teach me to hoop. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, for all of my students, I like to see what their natural flow is before they start hooping. Okay. So I'm just gonna want you to put it around your waist and let me just see you hoop once. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was actually not bad. You got about three or four rotations in there. You spun it in I that did, way, yeah. naturally. So we actually spin in the same direction. Okay. This is gonna be easy because we cool. both do the same and thing. So would you say that people that spin the way we spin are just inherently better than other people? I guess so. <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> so if you spin in the other way, sorry to tell you, we're better than you. All right. Okay, so what you wanna do is hold it against the small of your back. Okay. Now, keep it level. You wanna have it like completely straight. You don't so wanna have it So as if this were a big tray and I was holding a delicious pizza on it. Perfect. Okay. You don't want the pizza to fall. No, don't. So what you wanna do is now that we know that you're most comfortable spinning it that way, mm -hmm. you want to give it a good spank with your right hand. That will give it momentum. Okay. Now as it spins around your body, when you feel the hoop touching your left, you're gonna wanna pop it to the left. Okay. So see, feel how that feels. Just for your viewers, got to pop it. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right now for a second and just let you know that I've never ever been able to do this before. I was very, I'm not even kidding, I was very nervous about today because I thought it would just be me going like this and picking it up and doing that. But that actually, the whole popping it really helped. That was uh, very good advice. It also helps this particular hoop. Yeah. It's got almost like a velvety grip. Yeah, it does. Which it actually amazing. holds and hugs onto your clothes oh, cool. really well. This is a bit more smooth. Yeah. So you have to like really be in control of the hoop or you gotta wear less clothes. I think, uh, I think our viewers right now are thanking you very much for bringing the one that doesn't necessarily require me to wear less clothing. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, so thank you for that. You ready to try again? I am absolutely ready. Okay. I've never been more ready for anything I'm in my life. I'm gonna watch you now and okay. see if you remember all the things. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is take it and cross it over the front of you to the left. And then up and do the same thing. Perfect. Whoa. Now if you want to make it look fancy, 
Keep your body straight that way. Now bend your back a little bit. How far can you bend your back? About this far. Cool, <laughs> fancy trick. <laughs> wow. Perfect, you're a ninja. Yeah, I totally am, except you can see me. Now, would you like to try a double weave? I would love to try a double weave. Yeah. <laughs> that was sweet, eh? You know, so far I'm pretty glad that I haven't choked myself to death. That's pretty sweet, eh? Are you popping your neck? I don't think I am <laughs> popping my neck. I'm not entirely sure what popping your neck entails. I'm gonna try though here. <laughs> Why don't you show me some stuff that's just like way beyond my skill level, like stuff that's just unbelievably amazing. All right. Kidding me? You have uh, a show coming up uh, this coming weekend. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, we have a uh, exciting event happening in Winnipeg coming up um, on June 8. We're doing the uh, Hooping Life film premiere at Fame, and uh, there's going to be a few performers there, including myself. And at that event, we're going to be showing the Winnipeg premiere of the Hooping Life. It uh, basically is a film following the lives of different hoopers and how it's changed their lives and got them out of trouble. And on Sunday, that fall, that same weekend, we're uh, having like probably the biggest hoop jam in Winnipeg. That's so, so exciting. And that's that's going to be at Old Market Square. Yep. We got the uh, cube rented and we're going to have DJs and a few like kiosks and it's going to be like a hoop festival. So it's I, I hope that it's going to continue every year, but really it's the first time Winnipeg's really grabbed the hoop culture and said, we're gonna have our own event, you know? That's very cool, and I'm gonna be there on Sunday with a camera. <clears throat> so you're gonna have to let the other hoopers know that I'm not just some creepy guy with a camera, I'm actually <laughs> filming for Shaw TV. So, now that you're a new hooper, I'd yeah. like to give to you um, a poster. Well, thank you very much. For the event. Awesome. For uh, next, or this weekend, yeah. it's already coming up, and a gift for you. Uh, two tickets. Awesome! To fame for the premiere of The Hooping Life. Sweet! And maybe you might get up there and perform too. Who knows? I absolutely will. I absolutely <laughs> will. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for coming on the show today. Yeah! Aww. yeah. And awesome. one of those! Yeah. Woo! Boom! For Getting Fit with Jay and Shaw TV, I'm Jay Williams. <laughs>